Hello, everybody. Princess Bear here, and we're back at uh, Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney Uva Bar. Still no Disneyland, but we're going to a bar. We're going to the Uva Bar. This was one of two bars that I used to go to somewhat eh, when I was a cast member. This was the expensive one. So we'll see if the prices have changed. Probably not, but we're going to go drink it anyway. Be sure to Uva. It sounds dirty, but you heard the girl. We got in at the tail end of happy hour, so I got a Long Island iced tea. Woo! Very tart. Very, very, very tart. Way more tart than the normal Long Island I get. I'd probably give it three out of five lemons. So I love how we slipped into happy hour at this bar, <laughs> but even in happy hour, the prices are still distant prices. Ugh. Let me wrong. Doesn't taste bad, but you know how like you drink a drink, you just get those instant flashbacks. That's what that was. Ugh. Two and a half out of five plus. No more of that. Bear got a lime marg. House marg. House marg. It looks beautiful. Nice and um, light on the lime. Also tart, but limey. I kind of like this one. Three out of five limes. This may be a slightly controversial opinion, but to me, this is the perfect size margarita. I don't need a tall cup. I don't need a dollar cup. This is a margarita drink. Mm. A little strong with salt in the rim. Other than that, margarita itself is pretty good. Three out of five plus. Our waitress was looking out. Everything that they have here is in a shared fryer. So I tried to do the guac, but the chips are on a shared fryer. The quinoa burger is, all the ingredients are vegan, but is also in the shared fryer. So if you're worried about cross-contamination, don't order any of those things. I instead got a salad, safe salad. <laughs> I got the side salad. This is $9 for this. And the croutons are not vegan as well. So this is the safest safest salad you're gonna get. All, the three salads that were on the menu were not safe either. So, here we go. It looks hella dressed. Living my best salad life. Balsamic is very acidic, but not bad. The ingredients are fresh, which is good, so I can't complain about that. I will complain about being a vegan and only be able to get a salad. I'm gonna give this two out of five romaine lettuce leaves. I mean, I give it to them that's on a nice plate for nine dollars, but the shared fryer understands the challenge of your environment. But at the same time, you need to adjust to your environment. If you couldn't cook something, you could have done a Buddha bowl. You could have done all manner of things, but at least having like, a salad didn't have to be modified. This is a side salad. This is not even a meal. And like, in Florida, sometimes I can let you slide. In California, it's a joke. Front your grass for the dressing. It's a salad. Two out of five balls. You get a half a point off and not have any other vegan options.
Now I got a chicken gyro. I always say gyro. You're probably never gonna break me of that habit and let somebody try to stop me. So they come with a side of garlic fries. Which do pass the test. These don't look like they were fried long enough though. So let's try this one by itself first. Okay. They're actually crisp and crispy, but they could have stood maybe a little bit longer to fry. The inside is a little bit mushy. Try a little bit of ketchup. Okay. So that's standard garlic fry, nothing amazing, but it's better than plain two string fries. Three out of five plus. And so there's chicken gyro, gyro. It does have some chicken in here. Looks like some crispy bacon. We have tzatziki sauce, onions, cucumbers. It's definitely packed full of the meats. And I take that wrong. That's not bacon, it's chicken skin. So they, they basically just chopped up a roasted chicken and threw it in here. Let's see how it tastes. It's a pretty basic gyro. The chicken is just like uh, like a standard rotisserie chicken flavor, which kind of clashes with the tzatziki. Like it's not seasoned appropriately for what it's in. But it's cooked well, it's juicy, it's not dried out. It's definitely thick, it'll fill you up. So I suppose I can't blame it too much. I'll give it a two and a half out of five plus. So Uva Bar, the friend just told me and I didn't listen. It's just as overpriced and unoriginal as I remember it to be, which is unfortunate. And that's why as a cast member I used to go to the Lost Bar at the Disneyland Hotel, which is now Trader Sam's. It definitely functions as a bar, but the bar is just overpriced bar food. I really bar food. wish that like the vegan options I saw were actually vegan. They are technically, but the shared fryer thing is a big, big issue yeah. here. Cross contamination is one thing, but you're literally frying the vegan stuff With in the, the same stuff. oil as everything else. Yeah, no. Splitting hairs is still kind of an issue. But we know when was the last time you guys at Eddie Bar do you think as horrible as it? I think we do. Let us know in the comments. If you think we're wrong, and sometimes we are, by all means, that's going to be the place to let us know. If there's any other place you'd like us to go, that's going to be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Well, we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,